Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Tuesday, August the 4th. I got to remember my wife's birthday is August the 6th. So I've got to remember that. I have been known to let it slip up on me and, and uh, not to remember it till the day after. <laughs> That's a bad deal to do that. But anyway, we've had a, a eventful day yesterday. Uh, yesterday evening was a, uh, August got stung by a red wasp. And uh, she's learning what wasp will do. It's the second time she got stung, and she's getting pretty mindful of watching where they're at. It was down at the chicken house messing around with, with the hens and got the nest stirred up and uh, got stung. So it leaves a pretty good whelp. I remember as a, as a kid coming out of the, who was told not to go into the hayloft. They had this big spike. Oh, it was probably a four foot spike that they would uh, drop down on a wagon full of loose hay. They'd, they'd pitchfork this hay on this wagon and the team would bring it up, the team of mules we bring it up to the barn. They swing this big uh, iron hook out into it and drop it down into the hay and, and pin it. And then they'd pull this hay up into the loft and stack it up there. And we were supposed to stay out of that. But, of course, kids, you know, we'd uh, think we'd get by with stuff. We'd climb up in the loft and play and, and just have a, a real heyday in that hay. <laughs> a real good time. But... I remember coming down out of the loft and stirred up a, a nest of white-faced wasp. And those things got an attitude also. And they stung me all the way down that ladder. I was full of stings and bites. And I remember running away from that, uh, crying. Man, it was a bad deal. And I wasn't the only one that got stung. But we learned pretty quick, you know, don't get around them. Stay away from wasp nests and, and watch for them. Because when they go to watching you, their, their wings will puff out and they're ready for the attack. So anyway, August learned about the, the wasp and where the nest is. and I think she'll stay out of there for a while uh, until she gets brave again and wants to go back in and challenge them again. But it's a bad deal. Marsha, if she gets stung by a wasp, she'll, uh, she'll swell up in her throat and, and uh, get where she can't breathe. It, it can... Get to be, be, get, get to be pretty deadly, I guess. Uh, today I've got Philippians 3, verse 11. And there are six references to it. And from reading these, I'm gathering that uh, Paul was mother henning those people that he was telling the, the gospel to. Not, not as, as a mother hen, but he was concerned that others would... Uh, throw their two cents worth in and, and get their mindset changed which which could possibly happen you know uh, back then because they didn't have scriptures like we have you know all they had was the scrolls uh, and Paul had a, a secret in this evangel that no one else talked about and you know even still today uh, the secret that Paul revealed is not spoke of in the pulpits. It's been, they don't even allude to it. They, they stay away from that. The justification and sanctification of being made holy in, in God's eyes and, and the body of Christ. You know, all this, all of Paul's writings, they don't allude, they don't talk about the secret that Paul revealed. It's alluded to them today also in the churches. You know, the preachers are everywhere talking. And they don't read, they don't allude to it at all. So these these right here, this is what Philippians three eleven says, and the references tied to it in Paul's writings. If somehow I should be attaining to the resurrection that is out from among the dead, if somehow I should be provoking those of my flesh to jur to jealousy and it should be provoking those of my flesh to jealousy and should be saving some of them. I became as weak to the weak that I should be gaining the weak. To all have I become all, that I should be undoubtedly be saving some. 
but I am belaboring my body and leading it into slavery, lest somehow when hurling to others, I myself may become disqualified. Yet I fear lest somehow, as a serpent deludes Eve by its craftiness, your apprehensions should be corrupted from the singleness and pureness which is in Christ. Therefore, when I also could by no means longer refrain, I send to know of your faith, lest somehow the trier tries you, and our toil may be, may be coming to be for naught. No one should be deleting you by any method, for should not the apostasy be coming first, and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction? And that's the references to that. So, uh, you know, Paul became like those he was around so he could win them, uh, looks like, to, to save some. I guess it was, uh, he was the last of the apostles, Paul was. And there are scriptures that references that. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But he references that we are the last of the apostles uh, at that time. So Paul is our apostle for today. Uh and he was doing all he could, you know. He was, uh, he was being persecuted and, and everything he done. Uh, so it's all by rights that he should, uh, like I said, on the end, no one should be deluding you by any method. For should not the apostasy be coming first, and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction? You know we're. We're going to be taken out of here before that's all happened. We are the detainer. Uh, so we, when uh, we're taken out, then, then all this is going to come together. But anyway, that's a pretty interesting read, uh, Philippians 3.11 and the, and the references to it. So it's a short video today. I've got, uh, trying to get my energy level back. It's hard to get going. <laughs> It seemed like I got zapped pretty heavy. But I'm making it. I'm still still writing. Uh, I've been writing a lot. So uh, it's going to keep continuing. All right. It's going to be a great day. It's cool this morning. It was down in the 60s. And, and I think the highest is going to be up in the 70s, uh, mid-70s here, uh, Fahrenheit. So I don't know what that is in Celsius, but... 70 in Celsius, I guess it's pretty hot, but <laughs> it's it's mild weather here. Anyway, it's going to be a great day. We'll get this video up, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. See you then.